Hi guys, welcome back to In Her Element. My name is Sierra. Welcome back to another episode. If you live in America, you already seen the news, but just know America is at its worst. Okay? Like we are down bad right now. We got another outbreak, like it's just terrible here. So I'm trying to figure out my best way out of here because baby, it's really giving trifling at this point it's not even giving ghetto it's giving trifling this is crazy like and then he got my president sick and then like i just don't know what's you know anything is possible in america so moving on next let me tell y'all about my weekend so y'all the weekend has been crazy i'm not even gonna lie like i got into a whole little freaking fender bender incident or whatnot like uh and it really inspired today's podcast topic so yeah well that and someone else but oh so i've just been trying to get my life back from that but of course the lord is always on my side and i'm his favorite so your girl's good and straight as always but it's just some bullshit like straight bullshit and i don't even want to talk about it and get into it but it's just bullshit that i just i be staying out the way y'all like i really be truly staying out the way minding my business and still somehow trouble fucking finds me like i don't get it but hey duh like there's seven billion people in the world who doesn't run into trouble on a daily like who do i think i am so anyway so yeah i've been trying to just get myself back from that but on some better news y'all i'm pushing p baby the pod is <laughs> so you know your girl has been just enjoying that and i have some cool dope ass projects coming up just know once i get this team like sky's the limit like oh we i'm gonna be a force to be reckoned with like betray like hmm okay but yeah y'all like oh and i have some pretty good i think i have some interviews coming up so be on the lookout for those because baby i'm really working like okay non-stop non-stop but yeah i'm really excited about the upcoming projects that are about to pop off in my life like we finna get it bussing but bussing out the seams okay so yeah what else have i been doing nothing really trying to stay the fuck really out the way like i thought i was trying to stay out the way before baby i'm really trying to stay out the way and that's really all i do but on to some better news i am going to implement a mini segment on my pod it's gonna be the flowers or i don't know what i'm gonna call it yet but i'm just giving people their flowers in my life that i think deserve them because baby after I've been seeing the universe bless me in different types of ways. I just feel like some people deserve their flowers from me publicly because that's just what I can do for them, okay? And yeah, so on the first edition of flowers, I guess, shout out to my fucking parents because them two right there holds me down, okay? Love y'all to death. I know that, you know, some days, you know, you don't really support your girl to the fullest but thank you for supporting me forever for lifers okay those are really my for lifers and baby i'm just trying to make y'all proud and i know y'all are proud well i hope i hope so but um yeah shout out to my fucking parents because they really raised a queen and you know your girls over here thriving and shining because my parents are just <laughs> that okay so shout out to them love y'all down and whoever knows them tell them that i love them so much and they already know that but yeah because y'all always like to report back to my parents and tell them what i be doing she pays her own bills baby Anyway, next person up to get some flowers. Since I haven't been in the stew, I'm a little behind, but I wrote this down like when the album dropped. But now on to people that I are in the culture <laughs> to get their flowers. Baby, first, Meg, like Precious like what? Okay, I will pull a him on a him. Do not play me. I am not one of them. Okay, that's an Aquarius for you, baby. Yes, baby, don't try me because baby, I'm gonna do you worse than you do that bitch. I'm gonna do you worse than you do her. I promise you. I promise. <laughs> but yeah, of course, Meg came in out with a banger per usual because I just can't wait till this album drop, baby. Ah, okay, baby. Why? Like, I just love her. Like, just know here first, like, she gonna be my best friend. Okay? Period. And bottom line. Moving on to number... Well, this is my third and last one. This woman is literally an inspiration. Like, so is... Oh, Megan... All the people on my flowers list today is an inspiration, but she really pushed me to speak up and actually make this a topic today. And the flowers are going to go to Lauren London because she is just 
the it girl like just what she embodies is what i maybe hope to embody as a woman one day just the strength that she has just the just all of it how she you could just the way she carries herself is just impeccable and i just you know women like that i love and aspire to you know be around and put in my circle because you know you are who you hang around and baby it would be a blessing one day to get in a room with her and just <laughs> ask her some really questions like about just spirituality because y'all i seen her podcast um episode with angie martinez her podcast is called in real life and if y'all haven't seen an interview with lauren london and you're a woman baby go listen to that shit because you would really take a lot out of it like it's really worth freaking listening to no matter how old you are like you can just learn a lot like so definitely thank you lauren for that and sharing that moment because baby you really inspired me and really inspired me to just look at my life differently because baby like you really are not special in this world like the lord the universe doesn't really give a fuck because things happen to everybody and that's what i have to realize like that's what i've been realizing and that's why she is my last person on the flowers list so thank you girl because you inspired today's pod so shout outs to you and yeah baby let's just get right into the episode okay y'all i know y'all love to do stuff by yourself for yourself okay and especially you know us being boss women like we are you know we need to learn how to delegate and that's where fiverr comes in the hand like fiverr has really saved me so much in this pushing of my pod production that I've been in it really has helped me you know just get some of the back end stuff handled because maybe all I need to do is show up and look cute and that's what Fiverr helps me do okay they have anybody that you need to help you with your business like anything like you need an accountant you need an assistant you need a data collector you need an organizer you need a manager like anything you want you need help with they got it okay baby and I'm going to help you, you know, get some stuff off your plate because you're looking a little stressed. So use the link, you know, sign up, get a couple of dollars off your first job, okay? And help somebody else because they're helping you. So, yeah, get to work, sis. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. So coming off the shelf today is the small things, baby. It's the small things, okay? Like, dead ass. Like, I'm telling y'all. Before I got into the spender bender, not saying I was feeling unstoppable, I mean, untouchable, but I mean, damn near close. I mean, that's what everyone thinks in their 20s. I feel like like life is so fast. Like you just are just going through the motions. Like you don't really stop and smell the roses as a 20 year old. I'm You don't. So I just feel like I got things put into fucking major perspective for me. And I just was like, I got to talk about it because it's just been on my mind and i just want to know does anyone else feel like this like have you ever had a moment where you're just like god damn life is fucking real like in real life like literally and after my fender bender i happened to run into lauren london's episode so i was like oh this must be the universe trying to you know make a connection somehow because literally everything that lauren talked about in that podcast i like felt in my soul like i was like yeah like literally like who do i think i am walking around this world like shit ain't gonna touch me like do you not know the power of the universe and the lord like baby no one is above the program like who do you think you are no it doesn't matter who you are like shit is gonna happen to you regardless so yeah your girl had to really just get i guess that wake-up call like life is fucking fragile life is short i already knew that but when it's like in your face like how it was for me like you really reevaluate shit like i don't move the same way i used to move like even though it was like two weeks ago like no every day like i'm thinking of like thankful for the little things that i got to do because as i go out and walk outside my door or you walk outside your door you see like not everyone has what you have and it's crazy to like how could i have taken for granted me paying my rent me able to have a roof over my head like me being able to cook dinner at my crib me being able to even wash a dish like some people would would love to do that shit and i just couldn't believe i was taking shit for like shit like that for granted because it's just mm, it's not to be heavy today but like just on some serious shit like 
take that shit with everything that you have. I'm not saying you have to be like so religious and spiritual, but just think the person, whoever you, you know, value that you have that shit in your life and that you can move that certain way because baby, you never know when that day when your day is or when someone in your life that is very special to you their last day is because baby life is crazy and you never know because whew, like the universe doesn't give you no warning doesn't give you none of that like ain't no it's just a oops oh well baby you should have did and you don't want to ever live your life like oops you should have did because i hate that for you so don't do that anyway back to actually the whole reason why i brung up Lauren, because she said this one important thing, like she was just saying how, like what happened to her in her life and her traumatic experience. Why did she feel like, you know, it couldn't happen to her? Like, that's why I felt like when my fender bender happened, like I was like, oh my God, woe is me. Like I was down bad. Like why this happened to me? Why, 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 why? And Lauren, what she said in the podcast is why not? Why wouldn't it happen to you? Who are you? Who are you to that man upstairs? Who are you to the universe? Just another body. There are 7 billion bodies on this planet. Like, who do you think you are, baby, to not get tussled by life, not get thrown around by life? Like, you are not above the program. So, and when I actually, like, sat back and realized, I was like, damn, <laughs> everybody has a bad day. Everyone had just a tiny thing that didn't go right in their day. Like, I am still have my life. I'm still able to wake up and see tomorrow, like let that shit go leave that shit in yesterday it's a new day i literally like since then have like really changed the way i move because baby i just see the way that the world is set up baby i don't have too much to be thankful for and grateful for in my life because it could be worse and i'm grateful that it's not worse and i'm happy that i'm on the good list so <laughs> shout outs to the man upstairs for always blessing me because times 10 i appreciate it beyond because you just really never know how truly blessed you are until you take it the shit for granted and you realize that shit was a luxury to have like some shit that we are so like don't give a fuck about like just the small things like baby you know how much people would die for the shit that we have like so just being grateful in the spot that you at are is really what i'm trying to say like i don't know if i'm going in circles but yeah baby that's what i mean <gasps> Like, oh, the girl is beyond blessed. And on top of that, to still be able to do what I want to do in life and just all that, like, shout out to the man upstairs for real because your girl is blessed and highly favored. So next, moving on, okay? But no, really the small things. On a, So let's move on from the heavy stuff, but onto the nicer things. It's the small things, baby, for me. And I'm talking about, now we're going to be talking about small things and relationships okay baby i love the small things okay so i am grateful for the small things in my life that's where we gotta start first but now i'm talking about the small things when i'm with you baby it's the small things it's it's you remembering that onions on my shit like that's so thoughtful like i love that you remembering that oh so she is gonna go be doing that okay so i should maybe go pop up on her if you know where i'm at you know a little pop-up is nice here and there like you know like come on now especially if you know my routine like and then even if you pop up better with like some lunch like sorry maybe that's the but sorry that's not even the little things but anyway <laughs> i'm just doing too much but you already know that i like dates that are planned like you already telling me this this and the third wear this that and be ready by seven cool easy i'm not even gonna fight with you i'm not even gonna say too much i'm gonna just okay got it i'll be there boom tell me where to be and i'm there easy like that like butter like how smooth that was like you already know that from a long day of work you already have a blunt road for me like that is so sweet and vice versa if my man had a long day of work and i know that he want to smoke after work baby i'm gonna have that blunt road sorry i'm not gonna have the meal i'm not her sorry but i'll definitely have you a nice blunt road okay i could chill your drink for you if you like that too but the cooking i could try <laughs> i could try but you just doing the small things for me okay like and me doing the small things for you too okay because you know you gotta give and take y'all give and take okay but definitely you just acclimating me out the blue is something that is just a must do okay like sorry it's not a must do i'm just kidding but it really is just the little things like money out the blue for me like 
not that you it's the small things like you may not think that's a big thing but for me i'm like oh out the blue i didn't have to ask you on top of that like that's crazy that's wild like how does it even get much better than this how how it doesn't or you know you opening the door for me not just the door to the restaurant the car door like why you went all the way and reached and got and you opened the car door for your girl okay like but you already knew that because you know on the first day i'm not i'm already not returning if you're not opening the door so yeah but <laughs> next so you just making sure that if i'm low on weed like you already hitting me up like oh baby you low on weed you need some weed like you already not it's before i get low like you already asking me like do i need some the little things and you may think that it's small like you asking but it's like wow you actually are thinking about me like the small things get you the big things because detail attention to detail is amazing it's just the attention to detail baby that i'm loving and you need to play close attention in your life as well no matter what you do in this life okay just take your time go slow like really the small things are everything because it only takes a small difference to make a change so baby i know you can do it and i love it for us but just don't take it for granted because you never know when she can get shaken up so be grateful stay down and stay working like period literally out the way <laughs> but now it's time to get on to my favorite motherfucking segment y'all already know we finna pillow kick it yes okay so today's the topic on pillow kicking it is my mm, they're not my two favorites but they're like america's two favorite they're like the very too much popular sex positions so missionary or doggy style y'all which one because i know they both are in but i'm gonna just say it because i know some people won't missionary is the key to the heart okay i promise it's the key to the heart i'm just kidding i don't know what y'all like but it's the key to mine like i'm a missionary girl okay missionary me okay missionary is just so just it because well it depends like missionary is only for certain situations like if that's your person or if y'all in a relationship but if that's a link i wouldn't suggest missionary because what are you looking me in the face for we ain't cool like that i mean i guess because the, the the face card is valid of course but i mean i don't know how i feel about it with a link i mean that's never been my thing but if it's your thing let me know was it awkward i mean if y'all are chilling together it shouldn't be awkward but well you should never fuck anyone that's awkward what do you call it vibes with yeah yeah never because that's weird but yes i'm a missionary girl because it's just very intimate very close very eye contact i love some eye contact i love the eye contact like i could just feel how much you love it i just by your eyes the eye says a thousand words like if you really truly like understand like the eye says it all and i just know that you love it in here so look at me baby please okay why are you giving it all to me because missionary give it all baby I'm busting it from 10 to 2 okay and i'm not on the clock either so yeah um but i'm not even gonna lie doggy has a special place in my heart but i only like a certain style of doggy like yeah but it's definitely a link favorite like of course you know because why not but if i'm gonna end up relationship that's my person that's my man missionary oh missionary i'm sorry and if you think missionary is boring baby you're boring because you haven't figured out what you can do in it yet because you really could really get it popping in missionary I'm not even gonna hold you i'm not even gonna hold you sis like baby oh we oh we the good old days okay but yeah make it interesting like nothing should ever be boring the reason it's boring is because of you i'm not even gonna lie like the reason it's boring it's you sis or it's him somebody gotta make it more interesting if you want to get something out of it because of course it's gonna be boring if y'all just sitting there doing the casual ordinary shit duh like spice it up talk to your man okay that's why i love missionary because i feel like it's a good you could talk to your man okay 
missionaries where we have a whole conversation. I'm asking about your day. I'm asking just what what would you like to eat after? Like, are we gonna get food after? Like, what are we? What's our plans? Like, <laughs> what are the plans actually? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But dead ass missionary is definitely an affirmation position. Like, you definitely need to be telling me some affirmations of what you like about me, what you love, because I need to hear it. Remind me how much you love me. Especially if you my man for real. Oh, you my man for real. Oh, yeah, you definitely telling me everything that I want to hear. Everything. And to be honest, I'm, I'm not even going to hold y'all. Like, I got a little secret. Like, to be honest and missionary, if you really want to ask your man, like, a serious, like, question, like, you might as well just ask him why you got a bus open from 10 to 2. Like, you might as well just ask him. Like, just ask him. <laughs> the answer is going to be 9 times out of 10 what you want it to be. So, just ask him. He's going to say yes to us. But that's really how I really get my most of what I want is by asking him why he busting his pussy open because that's his happy place. Like, why not ask him in his happy place what I need? Why not? Like, and then when we laying down post night, be like, oh, so you he be like, huh? Yeah, you told me run it. Yes, you did, sir. You sure did. You didn't remember that? Mm, okay. Well, you said it. So. <laughs> and then it's a go from there. But don't be taking my secret too much because, yeah, I got to keep some stuff hidden because, ooh wee. And sorry, bad enough, I'll be talking about what I like on here because, ooh, let me stop. Anyway, y'all, bottom line is missionary is just it. Like, missionary me or don't come near me. Thank you. Next. <laughs> but also, no, really, like, it really is like mm. chef's kiss not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna hold you but i definitely understand why doggy is a top favorite too so but i'm definitely a standing up doggy bust me down in the mirror because i'm conceited type of person not doggy in the bed because that's just giving mm -mm, too playful <laughs> too mm -mm, i just don't like it like it's too i'm trying to see the aesthetic like i'm trying to see how we look together like for real for real like from the like how are we looking together when we stand next to each other i'm trying to see us in the mirror together but you behind me i like that okay no really dead serious still though missionary for the win and that's that sister i hope that you continue to push through fight for your dreams do what you gotta do and baby just know that better days are coming and sis let it go forgive because your life is much more valuable and grateful than whatever you're going through. Like, baby, push through, okay? Push through. Everybody is going through something, baby. Boxing the devil is definitely not easy, but I know you can do it. So, sis, I love it for you. And, you know, we're going to talk soon. Bye, sister.